assalamu alaikum hello everyone in this tutorial we will talk about uh, principal component analysis and uh, we will use uh, one publicly available data set of USDA national nutrient database and uh, we will compare different dairy products and uh, and we will check whether uh, which of the different nutrients are related using the principal component analysis and we will use uh, SPSS tool for this analysis right so uh, let's go and start uh, performing the analysis this is the main page of uh, of SPSS here you can see that there are mo more than around uh, 8618 uh, different information that are available in rows and different products and their products and the details regarding those products that uh, what is the energy per kilo calories of that product and number of uh, proteins per gram fat per gram and so on and so forth so uh, just uh, for this example we will use random different uh, nutrients and we will try to identify the this uh, correlation between these variables and uh, for this is just a basic tutorial and the, I, I'll guide you through the steps that how to perform principal component analysis using SPSS right so first of all uh, you know that uh, the uh, principal component analysis the dimension reduction technique that it tries to reduce the factors which are not related so first of all you have to go to dimension reduction and then click factor I've already selected some features I'll just exclude that and I'll show you how to select them uh, first of all you go there and the number of uh, factors you want to select for the analysis for instance I want I have selected here energy per calories protein fat and sugar and these one and also some from the others like vitamins vitamin A B6 B12 vitamin C and other different uh, nutrients like folate thiamine and so on and so forth right so I've selected these variables here now I'll go to descriptives and I will select this uh, univariate descriptives initial solution coefficient these are not already selected I just selected here so you have to select all these when you want to perform the analysis this KMO and Bartet test of sphericity you have to select to check whether the data is significant I'll show you in the output why this is important and in data extraction you have to select principal component analysis and you have to check this scree plot uh, that will that plot will tell you that which of the components are selected by the principal component as the component of your data set and an eigenvalue actually this eigenvalue is the classifier which will uh, s uh, tell you that how many components are extracted from your data so I have selected here based on eigenvalue 1 this is default you can also set your own number of factors you want to set but uh, be, this is beyond the scope of this so uh, after that uh, just go on the rotation and this is the widely used uh, option of uh, which is used for the factor analysis that is very max just select this one and then uh, this one uh, display solution and loading plots right if you want to see that uh, plot you can just check this option as well right and then for scores I don't want to save any uh, features for now so I'll just check uh, keep that as it is and in the options uh, these are already selected and I have selected sorted by size so that I can check that this will sort all the components and uh, the the correlated components one by one I'll show you in the results so these are the options you have to select and then just click okay right now after clicking the clicking okay now this is the output first one is the descriptive statistics here you can see that all the uh, mean values of each variable you have selected standard deviation and total number of samples here you can see 8618 so yeah so in the next table here you can see that the correlation values of each variable against all variables for example here you can see energy versus energy that is obviously one because both are the same variables but if you see for the rest of the variables like energy per calories against fat that is 0.8 this is a very significant correlation 
but uh, this is the overall correlation table it's uh, sort of difficult to identify the uh, uh, correlation uh, variables from this plot but uh, if you go further here you can see that KMO and Bartet test the, the this test uh, sampling adequacy is 0.554 so usually the it should be above 0.5 so I think the data is uh, acceptable according to this uh, test and the p-value that should be less than 0.001 and it's less than 0.0001 so again the data is significant to be used then uh, commonalities and here you can see the total number of variance explained table here you can see that uh, total number of components uh, generated are six I'll show you in the next table but here you can see that the total number of variance out of this data set that is explained is 73.172 so it's a very good significant number that majority of the data set is explained based on these six components right so now this is the scree plot which I showed you that why you have to select here you here you can see that on the x-axis the total number of components and on the y-axis this is the eigenvalue and the eigenvalue greater than one you can see one two three four and five six so total number of uh, variables which are greater than one are six one two three four five six so these six are actually the components uh, selected by predicted by the PCA so here these are the component matrices this is for component matrix and this is the rotated component matrix so this is now sorted by the level of uh, correlation uh, so here you can see that Na niacin and riboflavin and thiamine and these one two three four five are components uh, are correlated with the component one so it is very significant here then for component two there are uh, one two three these three variables and then for component three there are one two three these are significantly correlated and then for fourth here you can see so all the correlations you 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 are witnessing here are very uh, neatly organized and so we can see that uh, which of the components are correlated and are come under one cluster and if you want to draw the rotated plot here one more thing if you want to exclude the insignificant values from uh, this plot you just go to the analyze option and in analyze option here you can see that uh, you just go on the uh, factor and from factor so just go on the option uh, click option here and just click suppress coefficients that are below if I say that uh, significance usually that is uses 0.3 okay and now now yeah now here you can see that with component 1 all these uh, values are clustered and with component 2 all these values are clustered and so on and so forth so if that is in, in, now it is sorted by rotation so here you can see that uh, these 5 are correlated with cluster 1 so it is very clearly visible that which of the so uh, if you see here one thing that this USRDA is actually not giving a very unique cluster because somewhere it is clustered with uh, component 6 and then with uh, it's clustered somewhere here so if I just exclude this one what do you say let's check if I exclude USRDA from the analysis what does that mean to the result so let's say vitamin where is vitamin US vitamin C yeah this one let's see if I just exclude this one what will happen to the results and I just first not suppress the information and just check it so now the number of components are reduced to 5 and the eigenvalue is also not uh, significantly changed but uh, the total number of variance has changed here you can see that now 70% of the samples is selected and uh, if you t see the rotated component block then now the correlation between the values if I just change the uh, suppress option again select the suppress option again and click 0.32 
you can see that hey now you can see that the total number of variables are changed or the cluster is changed so that that, that is just a tutorial for you so that you can know that how you can identify the weak link uh, between the PCA data set and exclude that particular variable and re uh, generate the PCA uh, using the options and check which are the best uh, best uh, components and the, the uh, and for for your analysis right so I think that is enough for you to know how to perform a PC analysis this type of analysis can be used for different in different fields here I've just checked using one publicly available data set if you have any questions related to this uh, analysis please feel free to ask in the comment box